we're going to move on to pearls before pigs. Uh, don't waste what is holy on people who are unholy. Don't throw your pearls to the pigs because they will trample the pearls and then turn and attack you. Uh, Thaddeus, before I mm -hmm. admit my guilt, do you find yourself, anytime you think about this passage, going, what What? what am I doing? Why am I engaging? Yeah, so, yeah, so this, this is always a hard care. one if yeah. you're involved in apologetics, especially, mm -hmm. because it's like, we want to answer arguments, we want to reach people, but, you know, some people, they just can't be reached. And it's like, when do you call it? And it's a really tough one, for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is this is one of those passages that I, I kind of hold in my pocket, right? And I'll like pull it out and I'm like, and then I put it back in. And, you know, it's, it's just one of these things, right? So I I have a very hard time knowing um, when to hold them and when to fold them, so to speak, right? So uh, like, like you, like a lot of other apologists, we have spent hours upon hours of our life engaged in a debate either through text or through chat or whatever it is right trying to convince this person of the falsehood of whatever their position is and the and the truthfulness of of our position right we can come up with the most flawless deductive forms of argumentation that nobody could deny and yet they continue to deny it right typically using the trinity of bad logical fallacies um, and, and a lot of the people that we engage with truly do have their mindset, right? They are stuck in their ways and no matter what you present to them, they're going to reject the truth of Christianity. Um, one of the things that, that I tell myself, I don't know if this is a lie or not. I don't know if I'm lying to myself. That is, <laughs> maybe you can help me out. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to get a couch. I'm going to lay down. We're going to have a therapy session right now because I definitely need your help. So my excuse for doing this is that it sharpens my sword. Right. When I'm engaging with someone who's just refusing to budge, what I think it's doing is it's it's sharpening my own sword, right? For for the moment in time when I'm in front of someone who is actually open minded, who is willing to consider um, a different position than their own, willing to consider that perhaps they are holding on to a a falsehood and willing to consider that uh, Christianity could possibly be true. Basically, someone who's actually interested in asking, seeking, knocking, finding the truth, which we're going to get into here in just a second. Um, so like I said, sometimes it's yeah, difficult. Yeah, I, sh I should have yeah, put that yeah. in the intro that we're going to learn about your name today. Oh, yeah, we are going to learn about my name today. That, <laughs> that should have been one of the loops. Sorry, guys. Uh, not a real good self-promoter here. Um, so it, it's to me, it's difficult to tell if someone's genuine or if they're just being bombastic and boastful and, you know, thumping their chest. It's really difficult to tell the difference be between one person and another. One person could be stubborn because they just truly believe what they're at. Another person could just be bombastic. They don't care about their position. They just they just want to argue and they just want to frustrate you. Um, so there there is an example. Uh, Lloyd can attest to this uh, of a guy who was constantly commenting on our streams and stuff like that um he even went so far as to say like worse things should have this was a year or so ago worse things should have happened to hatoon this was actually after the slap that was before she got stabbed um he said that he wished something even worse would have happened to her like this is how obscene this guy was right and for some reason right i didn't just block him and pearls before pigs trump card right just lay that down on the on the table uh myself and many of the other uh, uh frequent commenters on the channel just kept engaging with him and uh you know out of nowhere almost he just announced on the channel he's i, I left islam um so that would have been one of those situations where if i were a gambling man i would have bet a whole bunch of money that this guy was just being bombastic and not being genuine with his argumentation um that's one person out of how many times have you have you blocked the, that one guy now? How many how many <laughs> counts has he made? Right, so uh, twenty one, twenty two, going uh, right thereabouts. Uh, and he started commenting on my channel with all the same channel names uh, that you had blocked. So it's a little bit easier for me to kind of learn <laughs> learn from the names that that you were bringing up who 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 this person is. Um, but I, I find it hard personally. I find it hard to to give up on someone 
immediately, right? Uh, I don't know where you are with that, Thaddeus. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I try not to block people um, mm -hmm. whenever possible. Uh, when, what I usually do is, you know, I give them several warnings, and, and I, I don't ask them to, you know, I, it's not like I give them several warnings, convert to Christianity, you're being right. blocked. It's like I right. give them several warnings of, like, stop insulting people for no reason. Right. Uh, stop blatantly lying. Mm -hmm. Actually defend your argument instead of just moving on to something else when you're right. challenged. You know, that kind of thing. Right. No, exactly. And I, I just feel like there's so much lack of education uh, for a lot of people out there, just in general, of how to actually logically, coherently conduct a, a discussion or an argument. Uh, a lot of people don't know the difference between a street fight, right, and like a formal style of, of communication, right? A, a street fight, you just beat somebody up, you win, right? That's kind of how that goes. It doesn't matter if you cheated or didn't cheat. Uh, but if you're actually trying to seriously engage and, and seek the truth, then uh, you do want to follow the proper rules of, of logic and, and reason and find your, find your way to the truth um, in, in, in that particular way. Uh, one thing I, I will make mention of it, right? There are a lot of different personality types within kind of the social media Christian world, right? You've got your super aggressive people, um, two people come to mind, uh, and I'm not saying they're good or bad, right or wrong at all. I'm just saying there's different styles. So you've got like your Christian princes, you've got like your, your, your Sam Shamoons, right? That are pretty aggressive. They're going to pearls before pigs before the person can even get the first lie out of their mouth. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and then you have other other folks. Um, uh, let's say like a like a like a James White or someone like that who just is very patient, especially when it comes to Muslims. Now, let's not talk about his views on uh, other Christians. Uh, but when it comes to the, the Muslim argument, very patient, uh, very gracious, very kind, very. Um, uh, they they tend to allow uh, a lot more malarkey, I guess, um, when when they're engaging with those sorts of people. And then, in my opinion, someone who's kind of right there in the middle would be someone like a David Wood. He has the ability to be pretty aggressive, pretty snarky, pretty pretty mocking, but he also has a pretty high tolerance for um, people being kind of lunatics. Um, the, the way that I look at this is. Uh, we're, we're known, the church is known as the body of Christ, right? Um, and so as the body of Christ, you're going to have different kinds of body parts, right? Different body parts have different functions. Um, so some people might be like the intellect, uh, someone like a William Lane Craig, um, someone might be the heart, right? So just loving, caring, compassionate. Most of those people are not involved in apologetics. They're more uh, in, involved in evangelism right literally just going out preaching the gospel not arguing with people there there's people who do that uh and then there's people who you know there's a reason why we have hands that can be balled up into a fist and there's people who kind of have have a fist now metaphorically a fist i'm not saying to actually use your fist um but i i think god raises up uh different people with different personalities so that other people with different personalities uh can be reached right you're going to relate to someone who's a little bit more like yourself what do you think about that yeah i think that makes a lot of sense that uh you know different tactics for different folks um david likes to say that that people used to tell him all the time that you can't reach anyone by being so mean all you, <laughs> you got to just yeah. be nice to them and, and never ever say muhammad's a false prophet because right. as soon as you say that they'll leave and leave. i no doubt that's true for some people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but for other muslims that's viewed as a sign of weakness. And it's like, well, I'm definitely not considering that religion. They can't even defend themselves. Right. No, exactly. And and so someone like a David Wood or, or, or a Christian Prince, and I don't want to call them, I'll just call it, it's going to be somewhat crude, but they, they've got notches under their belt. People who have left Islam and have accepted Christianity. I can't think of a single social media YouTube person besides those two who have as many people who have left Islam and accepted Christianity. I can't think of anyone else uh, who has those numbers at all. Can you? No, definitely not. I mean, uh, Nabil certainly won a lot of sales yeah, back in too. his day. Yeah. Um, and he was much nicer than David. So, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> But some of their videos together were hilarious, man. They're, um, they're Burn the Quran Day. Have you seen that one? Yes. Oh, that's like one of my favorite, like the overacting, the cheesiness, like there's already been a burn the Quran day. 
<laughs> and of course, it's Uthman who burned who burned the Quran and then compiled uh, the Quran later. Before we go on, I have a couple comments from the audience uh, on how they treat this. Uh, Toby says, I treat mockers like that verse. Big difference between argumentative Muslims and Muslim mockers. Hmm. So, you know, difference between someone making an argument and someone just saying, LOL, your God poops. That kind of thing. <laughs> uh, that, that's my favorite. Sorry. But he didn't uh, say that. That uh, was me. <laughs> oh, that was you. Well, that's pretty... And then uh, Mary says, I'm pretty aggressive, but I don't stop engaging. No, Mary, you don't. You might have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Mary will engage and engage and engage. And uh, Mary's so intellectually intelligent uh, and has so many sources like on her mind's disposal, like she'll just engage with anybody and <laughs> I, I feel bad I honestly feel bad for a lot of the Muslims who just like come out of nowhere and then all of a sudden they're just bombarded with facts that they had never even heard about before um, I think Swahid no not Swahidi uh, Sassafras or whatever his name was he was he was a victim to a bit of a merry merry tirade there Yes. Um, and we have a comment from Lynn. I, I'm not sure if I've seen Lynn in the chat before, but if this is the first time you're here, welcome. Uh, welcome says, Lynn. leaving Islam makes me feel good. So congratulations on leaving Islam. Hey, congratulations. Um, hopefully you found Christ or I are at least considering the truthfulness of Christianity. Leave a comment if you have or if you are considering it. Uh, and if you're considering it, we'd love to talk to you. Maybe not today, Absolutely. but at some point it would be it would be really cool. Um, so I think that covers that, right, Mr. Thaddeus? Yes, yes. All right. I know, I know people, I know I'm a big celebrity. I know it's a big deal. And people are like, what? Where's Ask Truth get his name from? Why does he just have this Ask Truth thing? Like, what's he talking about? I know that's what people are thinking all the time. It's been on all the tabloids, paparazzi coming around trying to figure out what's going on. Um, kidding, of course. Um, ask, seek, knock. 